wanted to talk about eating low on the glycemic index. I was talking to someone a few days ago about diet and exercise and one of the things I mentioned was the uh, glycemic index and how it benefits people to eat on the lower end of the glycemic index and they looked at me like I was from a different planet. They'd never heard of the glycemic index and had no idea whatsoever about what I was talking. So I wanted to just briefly touch on the glycemic index and how eating low on the glycemic index will help you to uh, control appetite, your cravings, and eventually your weight. So basically what the glycemic index is, it's a scale that was put together by testing foods and seeing how different foods impacted your blood sugar level. If you eat foods that are lower on the glycemic index, that it has less impact on your blood sugar level, or basically, instead of spiking your blood sugar level, it keeps your blood sugar level constant, which is uh, the best thing for you. Uh, if you are diabetic, you certainly are aware of the blood sugar levels that you have because uh, diabetes is the inability to control that uh, blood sugar levels or the blood sugar levels affect your health adversely uh, much, much more than the average person in the population. Uh, a kind of a scary factor though is, and I'm just going to quote some statistics here, is that 33% of the children born in America today are expected to develop type 2 diabetes. And for black and Hispanic children, instead of 33% um, or 1 in 3, it actually jumps up to 50%. So it's really important to get a handle on eating low on the glycemic index because uh, what is causing some of this diabetes is people being overweight and eating the wrong type of food. Uh, not all of it, but a good portion of it. So. Um, basically what you want to do is eat foods that are closer to nature and uh, there's a lot of choices of foods that are low in the glycemic index and I'll say to start with that um, you don't really need to be too concerned about meats of any sort whether it's fish, fowl, or beef, pig, whatever. Um, none of those, I guess I should have said pork instead of pig, whatever. Um, none of those really impact your blood sugar level because there's not a lot of sugars involved there. But what we're talking about is a lot of processed foods, um, cakes, pies, breads, that sort of thing you want to avoid and stick to foods that are low in the glycemic index. If you look on the internet and just uh, use uh, Yahoo or Google or any of the search engines, look for glycemic index and I'll spell it for you right here so you can look there and see how it's spelled look it up and uh, you know there's a lot of different sites that deal with the glycemic index and you can find that you know if you're eating um, brown rice uh, whole wheat cereals and um, breads you can find things that are low on the glycemic index and they'll mention you know if you go to the Eating foods that are low on the glycemic index does not mean that you have to starve yourself. There are plenty of tasty choices. Those sites, you can find things mentioned by brand names, so it makes it easier for you to find things that are low on the glycemic index. If you stick to a lot of fruits, vegetables, beans, um, if you use slow cook oatmeal, uh, brown rice, that sort of thing, all those are low on the glycemic index. And what that does is it keeps your blood sugar level stable and these items fill you up more. So in addition to not eating junk like, uh, you know, tasty cakes or, and I love tasty cakes, not putting them down, but what, what happens when you eat cakes or foods that are high in processed sugar, you end up getting a, a spike in your blood sugar level which gives you like a sugar high and um, you have lots of energy but what happens it's like a roller coaster you get to that peak and then you drop down below with the blood sugar you know the the stable area of your blood sugar level and you get um, it's probably not expressing it very well but basically 
when you uh, have a peak, you then have a valley after that, and what happens is pretty quickly after you eat, you're already hungry again. If you eat and keep your blood sugar le level stable, you will not get hungry as quickly. You know, it'll be hours again before you really feel a need to eat. So, uh, you know, there's just a couple quick items. Now, I wanted to talk also about, you know, trying to get nutrition into your diet because, you know, you might think that because you eat healthy and low on the glycemic index that you're getting the things that you need. You eat lots of fruits and vegetables, follow the FDA guidelines, whatever. Um, thing people, most people don't know is that because the soils are so depleted because of, uh, you know, planting crops for so many years in a row in the same soil, you're not getting the same nutrition levels that you were 50 years ago or even 30 years ago. And the, uh, um, what am I looking for? The Journal for the American Med Medical Association just a few years ago, actually uh, in 2002, they changed the position and decided that um, people really do need to be taking a supplement, you know, a vitamin, multivitamin type of supplement to their diet because foods are not containing the same amounts of vitamins that they used to. I'll give an example. The uh, FDA is recommending that you get 400 units of vitamin E per day, but to get that naturally, you would have to eat 33 pounds of spinach per day to get that, or drink a quart of safflower oil. And of course, that's totally unrealistic. So, you know, getting good nutritional supplements is very important to maintain your health as well. And I'm not going to make this a commercial because I want to just stick to the fact that you need to eat low in the glycemic index and more natural foods, and that will keep you healthy. If you have questions regarding supplementation or the glycemic index, please contact me, rob at prosperitymodel.com. And again, right here, rob at prosperitymodel.com. Write me, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have regarding you know, pretty much any issue, but specifically in this case, uh, put glycemic index or supplementation in your subject line of your email so I know that it's not junk. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.